Tom Brislin with a Keyboard Magazine first look at the Pro 2 from Dave Smith Instruments. Pro 2 is a hybrid synthesizer, which means that the sound is generated by a combination of analog and digital technology. There are four oscillators per tone. These are digital oscillators. What this means is that in addition to the traditional analog style, sawtooth, triangle, etc., you have all sorts of digital sounding waveforms. Including noise. There's also a sine wave sub oscillator. You can do oscillator sync, cross modulation, AM and FM, and there's also a selection of what they call character effects. These are digital effects that can add different types of harmonic content, EQ, drive, and other ways to gleefully mess with the tone. Next, we have two filters, and they are analog. Filter one is a four-pole resonant Prophet 5 style. Filter two is a two-pole resonant which is the Oberheim style, and this is state variable, which means you can sweep from low pass to high pass. There's also a band pass option. And as far as real, true analog circuitry goes, You've got the filter and also the analog distortion. While we're on the subject of effects, you also have a delay effect right here and one of these settings says DBBD. That is a simulated bucket brigade delay. Again, it's digital, but it acts to emulate the analog style delay. One thing I notice in terms of the layout, how most synthesizers of the analog style will give you sort of the signal chain. They'll start with the oscillators, go to the filter, envelopes, etc. I'll show you that in here. One cool thing about the Pro 2 is that it puts its effects control up here on the left side. And here's why I like that. Because chances are if you're playing a lead or something, that might be a good time for you to alter the effects in real time. If you're playing lead with your right hand and you have your left hand working pitch bend mod or these groovy sliders, you can grab your effects right here with the left hand. So I think that's a nice thoughtful layout choice. In many respects, the Pro 2 behaves like a traditional monophonic synth, meaning it can only produce one note at a time. We're starting to hear this term paraphonic being used, which we'll take to mean like polyphonic. Jargon aside, here's how it works on the Pro 2. In a typical mono setup, the four oscillators are all stacked on one note. The Pro 2 allows you to split up these oscillators and allow you to play up to a four note chord. Now, 
That seems like polyphonic operation. However, notice that these oscillators are still going through the same two filters with their envelopes. So what happens is this creates some sort of little interdependence among the four notes that you play in a chord. And I'll demonstrate here. I'm going to strike this four note chord pretty hard so it has a very open filter and top velocity. Now, if I repress one of the keys, or another key, lightly, notice that the other three notes will re-trigger their filter envelope. It'll even change the velocity. Same thing can happen if I strike a note hard while holding the other ones down. So this is not how a typical polyphonic synth will operate, but it makes for some really cool unexpected musical effects, so I tend to try to use this as a feature rather than as a limitation. touch sliders. We first saw these on the Dave Smith Tempest drum machine, and now they're here on the Pro 2. They are position and pressure sensitive and can control just about anything that's found in the modulation matrix. Here I have slider 1 position controlling filter 1 cutoff. If you find a setting you like, you can latch it. Slider 2 is set to control filter 2 cutoff with pressure. I'm increasing the amount of finger pressure on the pad. These settings are not latchable. If I tried it, let go, it's going to go away. So the latch is for the position, not for the pressure. It's a really good ergonomic left hand layout. You've got the pitch bend and mod wheels right here. Nice easy position to grab the side of the instrument, move fingers up on the sliders, latch control, glide, hold, octave shift, distortion, and delay effects. Above the envelopes, we find the step sequencer. It could be run at up to 16 steps with 16 tracks, or up to 32 steps with 8 tracks. In case you're wondering what you do with all those tracks on a paraphonic synth, note that the sequencer can record more than just note data. It can also record just about any parameter change in the instrument. For example, different levels of filter cutoff, etc. Many of the presets have sequences pre-recorded so you can jump right in. It can also sync to external MIDI clock, audio, and CV inputs. Notice that this sequence was also set to swing, and you have tap tempo control also. If you heard that slight bend in the sound when I changed the tempo, that means that the delays are also syncing to the tempo and we had a delay time change, which caused a cool effect. Check out the full review of the Pro 2 in Keyboard Magazine. And for now, I'll leave you with some more sounds.
Yeah.